everybody. Welcome to Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Hakeem Branch. Rob Jarrell. And today we're going to talk about this Saturday's welterweight title fight between Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao and Jeff Horn. This is going to be for the WBO title. Yes. Uh, the big news about this fight is that it's going to be on ESPN instead of pay-per-view which is great for everybody. We, you know, you get to see one of the best fighters of the generation on free TV, which we haven't seen in a very long time. And the questions are whether or not this is a showcase fight. Is it a crossroads fight? Is it Jeff Horn stepping into the limelight and snatching fame from the old lion? What are we going to get in this fight? What you think, Rob? It's gonna be a one-sided ass woman. <laughs> That's what Rob thinks. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much right there with him. Uh, Jeff Horn is a good fighter. Don't get us wrong. He does a lot of really nice things. I like his footwork. Mm -hmm. He has good timing. He's accurate. He's active. He is active. He gives you head movement that you don't see from a lot of fighters, especially. Uh, non-Americans mm -hmm. well non-North Americans because you get a lot of head movement from like the Mexicans and the, you know the southern part of the continents South America too but across the oceans you don't really see a lot of head movement but Jeff Horn gives you some good head movement and he uses it to disguise his attacks you don't know whether he's going downstairs upstairs he can fake one way then come over the top or he'll be standing high, go down low, does a lot of things very well. Unfortunately, these are not things that Manny Pacquiao has not seen before. These are not things that are exceptionally done, whereas it would take him into a fight with like a top 10 fighter and him be competitive with them. Because like I said, they've seen this stuff too. So you got a guy who's fought damn near 70 times, it's over 70 times now, right? Yeah. It's, it's a high number against the who's who of boxing under 154 pounds. Yes. Uh, I put the exact number down there, but anyway, the, the exact number really isn't the point. The point is, Manny Pacquiao has seen it all, and he's seen what Jeff Horn has to bring to the table. The question is, can Jeff Horn go from fighting the Ali Fumikas? The uh, was I can't even remember. Rico guy. Mueller. Yeah, Rico Mueller. I watched. Randall him. Bailey. He, he did well in that fight. Yeah. But going from Randall Bailey, Ali Funiga, and Rico Mueller to Manny Pacquiao, that's a tall order. So if he were to pull it off, this would be an astronomical feat. Yeah, because in this fight, he it's been mentioned that he wants to land the right hand, that counter right that Marquez landed to knock out. Manny Pacquiao. The problem with that is that ever since Marquez has landed that shot, no one ever has again. And keep in mind, Marquez has landed that shot very consistently through four fights. Yes. In which they went blood and guts. That's 48. No, not the. That's more so like 43 rounds. It was 36 plus six. So. 42 rounds of fighting, and remember, he not he landed that, that right hand consistently twice or three times, one result in a knockdown in that fight. So you really can't say you want to land that one because the only pe people that could really land that punch consistently with power and accuracy has been Marquez, Maybe Mayweather because he did kind of pop him with that right hand. And even but he never even hit him with the same type of right hand. Anymore. Yeah, it's not the same type. And Bradley hit hit him with the right hand, but he does also doesn't didn't have bring the same kind of power or accuracy that Marquez did. Right. So you're talking about probably two of the top welterweights or fighters just in the last 15 years. That's you're asking a lot of yourself. Yeah, Chris Algeria said he's going to do the same thing, too. We know how that fight ended up. So, it's a lot of stuff that has to go right. Either Pacquiao's get, got really old. Yeah. I mean, even against Jesse Vargas. Like, Jesse Vargas hit him a few times. But now that Pacquiao knows that people are trying to catch him coming in, he's a lot smarter. Like, 
people don't give Pacquiao the credit for having the ring IQ that he does. He computed that. He took that into account. Like, hey, people are rich out of the time my my one one two. So now I'm going to disguise it, which he has done very well up to this point. And maybe if he gets Jeff Horn hurt, he can run into that shot. But I still don't think that's likely. Like I think that that is now embedded, ingrained, engraved, deep rooted in any word you want. It's in there. He's not forgetting that. And he is looking for people to be looking for that shot. Now, it is ESPN, which is awesome because, yeah. let's be honest, no one's going to pay for this fight. Mm -hmm. Well, there were people, like, diehard Pacquiao fans were probably going to. Then you got the diehard boxing fans who buy anything. But not to the yeah. same level that Pacquiao is used to having his fights being bought at. Right, yeah, this was probably 150k, but those are his pockets. But and I, also, so they put on ESPN, which is great because those who don't get to see Pacquiao really wasn't planning on paying for it. It's like, oh, I like Pacquiao. Let's see this. All the people in Australians and um, will be able to see this fight for free. Yeah. Not only that, it's selling out in a stadium in uh, Brisbane, Australia, which seats 50,000. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm all for that. So this is actually the first card in the top ranked deal with ESPN. And depending on how successful this is, we're going to have a lot more high caliber free TV on ESPN. Hell, maybe even ABC because they're both owned by Disney. Yeah. So then that would be all of the network TVs. We've seen it on CBS. We've seen it on NBC. Now we need ABC to follow suit. And that's all the big networks, all, well, at least here, like the big yeah. United States networks will have free boxing on all of them. And considering that ESPN, um, ever since Friday Night Fights was taken, ripped away from us. <laughs> yeah, we're not even gonna go into that. Uh, Top Rank and Golden Boy has made those deals. And let's be honest, we've actually gotten some good scraps on there since Golden Boy has had it. Yeah. Now the top ranks bring it, but I think top ranks just going to do it on a bigger scale and put their marquee names on there for pretty good fights. Yeah. So you expect to see Terrence Crawford. Um, maybe if Tim, whenever Tim Bradley gets back in the ring, you'll see Bradley. Lomachenko. Lomachenko. Uh, what's my man? We were just talking about him, light heavyweight Gavazdik. Gavaz, yep. I, I want to see more of that guy. I want to see a lot more of that guy. But, um,. Yeah, that's really it. Um, the question is, can Horn sustain what he's going to see from Manny Pacquiao? Uh, we're going to find out how tough this guy is. And will he not shrink at the moment? Because, again, 50,000 people, worldwide television, and still one of the top five welterweights, probably top three if you really want to go on resume in current form. Well, yeah, resume, yes. Uh, like skill and what we've seen, I probably put them at the bottom half of the top ten. But that's that's my personal opinion, which really doesn't matter for much of anything. I tell y'all that all the time. Yeah. But yeah, like he's still up there. So how long can Horn, can Horn, you know, pull out Algeria, get knocked down six times, get up seven, or will Manny get his first knockout since with Miguel Cotto? In 2009 yeah that's what we're really looking to see so let us know what you guys think tell us what skills of Jeff Horn do you think will give Manny Pacquiao problems well, I'm pretty sure people out there were more than more familiar with them than we are yeah basically you know I've, I've watched maybe four of his fights and that was what I came away with mm -hmm. is what we just talked about so or do you guys think that Manny Pacquiao is going to, you know, kind of revert to the old form and get him out of there? Whatever you think, let us know. Hit us up on the social media networks. All those links are below. Got any questions, feel free to ask. And we will see you guys in the recap. Until then, fight on. This is round.
not won and you've already lost They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming and gone My fists are on fire, I perform till I perspire My demons are in a rage, keep thinking that it's a game I kick rhyme, hurricane, I told them I don't play I'm liquid, black street fighter, street fighter.